Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Adam here with Indy Farm Life. Today, I am finally gonna tackle this overgrown ditch behind me. And the best part is I've got a new tool to help us out. So let me give you guys a good look at how overgrown and nasty this is. We'll look at that tool and then we'll get to business. So this is one of those projects that, as everyone knows, you just keep putting it off because, well, you don't wanna get the string trimmer out and run it in July and August. So you let it go until it looks like this. Now some of this stuff is easily over six feet tall because that drops off pretty good right here in front of us. So I got my work cut out for me. Looks like mostly thin stuff, but there are a few saplings down this way. So now I'm gonna go show you guys this new brush cutter. I'm pretty excited about it and we'll get rocking. Okay, so this is just for reference. This is my everyday string trimmer, a 29cc Craftsman that I've had for probably 12 or 13 years, four stroke. Never let me down, but just not big enough for some of the stuff I gotta do. Set that there, let me get the big boy. All right, guys, here it is. Check out this monster. It's not called the big boy. Uh, Wild Badger 52cc brush cutter and string trimmer, but really, who wants to be string trimming with 52ccs? You'd rather get the brush, the brush head out and do some damage. Sorry. Quick comparison and power head, 29cc, 52cc. Uh, it's notable that this is two stroke. I know you guys want to see how this thing runs and performs, so we'll save all the chit chat for the end. Let's go tackle that ditch and see how this thing does. took about four minutes. There's a lot of material here. Uh, the shoulder strap is amazing. Once you get your height figured out, you can kind of swing it off your hip. Man, it goes quick. But you can't really do this kind of work without wearing long sleeves and pants. So you saw this in action. I'll go, we'll go up to the garage here in a minute and talk about it. Uh, one thing I do want to show you about this harness, which is nice. In the event you ever need to get away from this thing fast, let's say it gets stuck in something or you're down in a ditch and you fall and it's pinned on you or it, heaven forbid, catches fire, who knows. Any reason you need to get out of this thing quickly, if you pull this red strap right here, it just quickly releases the whole thing from you. A really nice feature. Um, I don't know if this is a standard issue on every uh, string trimmer or brush cutter that has a harness but something that's very beneficial to have so we'll walk down here and I'll show you guys kind of some of the carnage and then we'll go chat about this thing I need the water I'll tell you that was pretty quick I don't think that took more than 20 minutes to do I'm probably gonna have more time editing this video than I am actually cutting this which is a good thing still looks really ratty because well the material that was here was pretty significant I mean it had no problem cutting that um, so I'd probably call that three quarters maybe even an inch um, so in this case definitely want the cutter head versus the string trimmer head and with the cutter head versus the string trimmer you're not down here trying to bump it to get line to advance so for me personally I can't imagine having the string trimmer head on there that often especially when I let stuff like this go so that was fun so this is not the first time I have run this machine, but my initial reaction when I did, and still today, awesome. A 52cc motor, that's really incredible if you think about it, guys. So if you compare this to some of the other ones on the market, steel and Husqvarna, 
Uh, I don't know if they even have one that's 52 cc. So let's say apples to apples, you did have one of the same power as this right here. When you consider the price of what those things are, I think I looked last night, the ones from Husqvarna, I didn't even look at steel, which I assume are probably more expensive than Husqvarna. Uh, the Husqvarna ones I was looking at are 850, 900 bucks. This one is $180. So then that begs the question, long-term, will it hold up? I don't know, but for 180 bucks, all right, so let's talk about the specs of this thing real quick. And as I mentioned earlier, 52cc power head, quite substantial. It obviously has the handlebar set up on the front, which is nice. Has a kill switch and a trigger lock right here as well. Um, strap goes on right here and has that quick release, which is a really nice feature to have. Uh, it comes with two cutting heads. You got the triangle traditional brush cutter head and a string trimmer head, which I'll grab, it's laying over here. As this helicopter comes in here and ruins my shot, I, I tell you, someone out there like must send them a text. Like, hey, Adam's shooting a video, you should probably uh, send something overhead. I mean, it's coming right over the house too. No respect these days. All right, so here is the string trimmer head. Pretty traditional, nothing fancy. So it comes with those two heads. Uh, given the size of this thing, I don't foresee myself using it as a string trimmer, like up around the house, trees, etc. cetera. Uh, it's just too big and heavy, which is not a con against this thing. It's built well, and that's what you want. You want some girth when you're trying to do stuff like I just did. So I don't foresee the string trimmer head even really being on there that much. I'll probably use uh, the brush cutter head. And actually I have another one I'll show you that's pretty incredible here in a minute. Uh, aluminum shaft. I don't know the weight off the top of my head of this thing. It's, like I said, it's pretty substantial. I will drop a link for this below. It's sold on Amazon. So you can get all the you know technical specs you want on the unit. I think Lowe's and Home Depot also do sell this unit. Pretty confident about Home Depot. I'm not sure about Lowe's. Some people have commented and said before that they thought the plastic's chintzy. And yeah, it's a little soft, but again, it's 180 bucks. They have to cut corners somewhere. I'd much rather them cut corners on this little bit of plastic around the air housing and things of that nature. Um, it's got a nice aluminum shaft. It's got a good weight to it. Uh, I don't know. I can't think of a bad thing about this for the price point so far. So let's talk about that. Um, you know, is this my first choice when it comes time to clean up around the yard? Absolutely not. You could pick any of the machines that I have sitting around my property. The Grasshopper, the John Deere 4052R, the Backhoe, you name it versus a string trimmer, this is the last thing I'm going to operate. So I'm not gonna put a lot of money into something like this that's gonna get used very infrequently. I like to keep things maintained, don't get me wrong, but I'm gonna do so that minimizes my trimming. And my trimming is gonna be using something like that little 29cc Craftsman, not this big boy. Would I ever spend $900 on a unit like this? Absolutely not. Now we have a fair amount of acreage to maintain and as do our neighbors, so we have some common areas that we maintain together. But there's no way I'm gonna spend that kind of money on a unit like this that's gonna get used very infrequently. Like I said, I'd rather have seat time on the hopper or the tractor before running this. And you know, there are gonna be occasions, as you saw right there, where you just need to get something like this out. But at 180 bucks, I could buy four, maybe even five of these things by the time I could buy one of those units. Now it's too early to tell about longevity with this thing. And so maybe if you were gonna use this day in and out at a commercial setting, you might want the Stiegler Husqvarna. I know years ago when I worked at uh, State Highway Department in the summers, we ran some big steel uh, brush cutters and those got you know beat up day in and out. But most units like this that you buy, if you use it commercially at all, you avoid, say, your residential warranty. This thing comes with a six-year residential and a three-year commercial warranty. Now, I think that's saying something. If they're basically saying, take it out and use it commercially for three years and we'll warrant the, the power unit, then, and. That's really hard to beat. They gave me this, but I can't be bought for 180 bucks, guys. For the price, it's hard to beat. If you said this was $700 and the Husqvarna was $800, then maybe my tune changes a little bit. But just because it's new, I no one really knows about Wild Badger. And I ran this thing four or five hours previously to running it today. Um, at that price point, you're gonna be hard pressed to convince me that this is not worth the money. So I have had the string trimmer head on there for a little bit. Um, and it almost seems like overkill. This amount of power on a string trimmer head, I feel like it turns at about 800,000 RPMs. It's insane. The 
Brush cutter head is a nice balance. But let me show you something else I have for things that are over an inch and a half in diameter. Uh, pretty awesome. So check out this forestry blade, guys. This thing is, I think, 19 or 20 bucks on Amazon. And effectively, you have chainsaw teeth on the wheel. Now, I mentioned that the, the triangle-shaped brush cutter head is a nice balance. This is a little bit heavier than that and takes a minute to get going, but this is a 9-inch saw blade. And if you have things that are, you know, sapling size, inch and a half or so, a little bigger, you want to get through, this thing, amazing. I would take it out and run it, but I don't really have anything around here that needs cut right now. Um, I'll probably take it out to the pond at some point behind the Bradford Pears and do some cutting there. Maybe I'll show you then. But I will link this below as well, also on Amazon. A great addition to this unit if you are going to buy this unit. Um, the combination of that cutter head plus this, you get some serious work done. So I think that's going to do it for me in my review of this Wild Badger 52cc brush cutter. If you need something like this and you don't want to go spend $900 with steel or Husqvarna, and I saw them I think for $1,200 actually too, it gets ridiculous. Especially if your use is limited. That's not to say this thing won't last long term, I just don't know. But if you need something like this for the occasional use and you're on the fence, don't be. But if you need to use it for a business, at that price point, go buy it and try it. Why not? If that warranty's real, then you've got nothing to lose. And if someone has done that and you run that thing day in and out and you're putting, you know, 20 hours a week on it, let me know. I want to hear stories about this thing holding up. Um, it's going to be hard for me to run it enough day in and out to say it can compete long term with the longevity of, say, a Husqvarna, Steel, Echo, whatever. So, yeah, let me know. But if you guys found my channel simply because of this Wild Badger video, please take a look around. I've got lots of videos out there with my John Deere 4052R tractor, Case 580 backhoe. We've got a one acre pond. I uh, love running my grasshopper lawnmower, chainsaws, kind of all over the map. We've got a fair amount of acreage out here and no shortage of projects to do on said acreage. We'd love to have you stick around and join me, so hit that subscribe button. And for those of you who are already subscribers, thanks for being here, and we'll see you next time. Take care.